Hello everyone, I am SV and in this video I like to show you a new function from Redshift. Uh, this is denoiser for Cinema 4D. So if you are ready, let's start. Okay, first of all I show you the version which I have in present moment. Give me one second. This is Redshift version 2.6.04. If you are going to official site of Redshift, it's only for registered users, uh, you can see experimental builds. Not customer, not demo, but experimental. Open that and you'll find a last one update. This update of 2.6.04 is only for registered users, it's not free. So, uh, and here we can see that some denoiser, this add denoiser, also for 3ds Max, Cinema 4D and Houdini. As you know, before this denoiser was only for Maya. So, uh, I am inside Cinema 4D and now we'll check how it's working and if any reason to buy it and just, just we'll check it. So, I have a very simple scene. So, I just put everything inside uh, with some different materials. I am going to IPR, uh, yeah, before IPR render, going to settings. So, redshift. Uh, I have some GI brute force. Do not change any race, only 16. Just uh, simple settings. Uh, inside system, I have a full bucket render, uh, bucket size. And uh, basic, basic, basic. Okay, IPR 16 and unify samples 4 and 16 and nothing more. And as you can see, I have new options, denoiser. So in present moment, I'll put none, no any options and we will see how it's working. So um, open my render window, IPR window and just play it. What I have? So we have to wait a little bit. I'll make some update, just a moment. Uh, some geometry, I have some cloner, I have some softbox, some, I don't know, some capsule, some fire also I put inside. And now you will see what I have. So it's already start rendering. I have 16 passes only. Okay, and it's completed only six seconds. So as you can see, it's too much noise coming. But if I use a bucket render, Additionally, I'll have a, just a moment. Additionally, I'll have some uh, some photons. As you can see, I have photons. So as you know, when I use bucket render, I can see subscattering surface and I see some photons from any glass material. Uh, but how it's working? How it's working? First of all, if I am going to normal render, I show you some setup, so it is full HD, going to render view and just push a render. We will check here. So render is coming. Some preparation, simulation, geometry exciting. It's, yeah, I try to put in these pictures everything, uh, almost everything. Yes, I haven't volumetric light, but I have it sub scattering. I have some, okay, you can see. You can see it's very noisy. It cannot be like a final result. And now you'll check a time. Of course, if I increase the samples, it will be more beautiful, but it's taking some time. So you see a fire, some simple simulation of fire. I use a turbulence FD, uh, self-illumination material, like a plastic, metal, I don't know, some brush it, almost like gold, glass, and uh, some reflection, everything inside. So one picture have a render, 40 seconds. As you can see, 40 seconds, this is full HD. What is the difference? So now I'm going to uh, denoiser and I will start Altus signal pass. Like this. Do not necessarily, do not change any settings. So I'm not use uh, any AOV or additional buffering, just like this. Again, push a render and wait. So if I will receive any different or not, now we will see. Yeah, you see, preparation of the sand taking some time. Prepare materials, shading. Okay, now render coming. What was before, what was now. As you can see, in present moment, no any different. 
during rendering and this denoiser work like a, like a post-production or post-updating of a picture. So we will check if it's working with normal picture viewer render or not. Okay, it is done. And as you can see, coming some denoiser. Coming some denoiser, denoising. Time is continuously passing and, and, and how many times it will take. So, yeah, so it's done. You can see totally 14 seconds plus and look at the different. Yeah, I have different. Don't look for this watermarks. Later I'll talk about this watermark. So look at the different. Almost no any noise. Somewhere I have some small parts of noise, but more of them, it is clean. Very nice. So now I'll check other one, Altus Dual Pass. This is like a more, more professional, yeah, single pass and dual pass. Again, push a render and wait. Don't forget, I use only 16 samples, maximum 16 samples, minimum four samples. And as you can see, I have, I have really incredible results. So my picture is very clean and look here, look here, very nice. And I'll show you some some problem which I found it. I show you some problem which I found it with some denoiser. Also, we will try to use this denoiser for more samples, maybe 64, maybe 128. We will see how clean this picture we will receive. So if I increase, anyway, I have some noise here. I have some aura. As you can see, it's, it's some not so good, not so clean. Also, you can see it's around a fire. You see like a, like a additional shadow or I don't know what it is. But anyway, anyway, it's more interesting and more better. So, and don't forget if you use any animation, fast animation, you can use this denoiser and you will reduce your render time too much. So we are going here and you can see coming denoising everywhere coming some calculation and you can see already in two times more. So it is completed. Uh, what's the difference between this and this? You see, here still we have some noise with single pass and double pass, less noise. For example, in this area, so check it, single pass, still some noise, here, here, double pass. Looks like very clean and only for 16 samples, yes. I haven't not licensed uh, Altus, so in this area I didn't receive any denoising and everywhere I have this like a watermark. Okay, so we will check last one. I am going to optics, this is Nvidia denoiser and again push render. So now we will wait and we will check what will be now. How many time it take? As you can see, this denoiser take in twice time more than this denoiser. Uh, sorry, this. What was before, what we receive finally. Very clean picture. And I show you how it's working. Yeah. Okay, it started. Optics denoiser is, is very fast denoiser, but it give me not so good result. I don't know. I don't like result of optics denoiser. But it's free. No any watermarks, nothing, and you can see a final result. So we will wait a little bit. Okay, as you can see, I received 10 seconds more than without denoiser. I will put somewhere here. This no denoiser, this is with optics. So picture coming more better, more interesting. But anyway, everywhere I have some noise. I have some, I have too much problems. Yes, as you can see. So how we can make some options for this and how we can use it. As you can see, I have four different types. Okay, I'm going to IPR render. I'm going here and just play. So in present moment, I'm not use uh, exacting geometry. Yes, I'm not use bucket render. So I lose my subscattering surface and I lose my uh, photons from a sphere. As you know, I can also render like this. As you can see, for 16 samples, I have also optics denoiser and my pictures already so very clean. Okay, I'm going to Alto single pass. Nothing change, do not push nothing. And coming progressive rendering for 16 times 7. 
and 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 nothing more so for uh, IPR render Altus single pass not working check Altus dual pass again wait it is coming progressive render as you can see render completed six seconds again not applied again not applied so for IPR render I can use only optics and it's work very fast as you can see it's work very fast so uh, step by step no just check how many seconds it will take 16 passes only yeah seven seconds i'm save it then in make altus just wait a little bit wait okay it is done six seconds six seven is almost same plus uh, dual pass again i haven't no any result for sure because altus working for with bucket render as i understood maybe i have mistake sorry for this but just yesterday evening time i installed this last version and i start to check it and i have optics from nvidia again wait so check how many seconds take optics seven seconds okay so what i have this is without any denoising nothing this i have with altus no any different yeah only a little bit size yes change little bit size double no any different between this and optics as you can see picture more clean and more interesting so uh optics if you like to use a very fast render in ipr you have to use optics this is i hope everything clear so and you can see time for seven seconds almost everywhere seven seconds yeah seven six seconds so it's very fast and do not lose your power of your computer okay uh now we are going to bucket render and check again rendering and it's in this area it's work absolutely same like with this render with my render view window okay but what also i can do i am closed now I can also make enable of my progressive render like this. Then I can go to, I don't know, none, for example, none and go to render for a moment. Now coming progressive render. I think I again lose my subscattering surface and I'm again lose my photons. So I'll check how many seconds will take my uh, progressive render for 16 bits okay coming 19 20 21 23 okay almost 30 seconds and we can see a different so it is completed 29 seconds and as you remember this without any without any denoiser so bucket render different 10 seconds what i lose as you can see i lose uh, some photons and some subscattering it's not same but almost same quantity of noise yes with ipr render it's more faster but less noise okay so if i haven't in my picture in my project any photons and any subscattering i can use this ipr render and i'll tell tell to use i don't know auto single pass render again check now we will see if it's working or not so this is not a tutorial this is just experiment just a testing of this denoiser for cinema 4d and how it's work uh, for sure in few days weeks maybe months uh, everybody will get a i don't know not experimental version everybody will have a fixed customer version of redshift and everybody can use it and i hope my video a little bit help you okay as you can see nothing changed so if again if i use ipr progressive render altus not working working only optics render and check a different different with time and different with quality and then we will try to increase my samples and check how my i don't know how my some denoiser is working so as you remember 
single pass, dual pass, more clean. This is uh, my optics. So now I put optics somewhere here for check it. Uh, this is without, yeah, this I think it's without any denoiser with bucket render. And this picture without bucket render, progressive render, and I lose some, some details. I lose something. Okay, so we are going here and we can see uh, 30 seconds. As you remember, here I have 40 seconds. What's the difference? Less noise, looks like more interesting. Yeah, this, yeah, this. Optics uh, bucket render and optics progressive render. As you can see, progressive render will give me less quantity of noise, but some details is loosened. And 30 seconds, this is incredible, incredible. 30 seconds, very fast and looks like very clean picture. For animation, I think it will be enough. So now we'll try to increase, I don't know, passes for in two times, so multiply by two times. I have 32 passes. Render and check a different with time. This is 16 passes, as you remember. I don't know, it's possible to remain. Remove, remove, no, 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 not possible to rename, doesn't matter. So this is 16 passes and this 32 passes and we will see a different. We have to wait a little bit. As you can see, coming some render. Yeah, preparation. Preparation of this geometry taking approximately 15 seconds. So if you have not too much object with different materials, you will get more interesting and more faster result. Yes, coming. I think it will be approximately 45 seconds, yeah? More probably, yes. And we can see a different. Plus 15 seconds. And here, here. Still, I have some noise. Somewhere I have more noise. I have something in this area. In this area, what I don't like absolutely. But I told you, yes, this is the noiser you can use for... So I'll try multiply by two for IPR render for progressive render. So check again. Of course, coming time, you can see before start rendering, taking some times, 14, 15 seconds, 17. Yeah, approximately 17 seconds coming preparation of my picture. So don't forget that during animation, not coming any preparation of geometry. Yes, and uh, when coming this, uh, Rendering, I'm going back to Altus and how to take out this Altus watermark. So, uh, <laughs> of course, you have to buy. We are going to shop. This is InnoBright Altus. You go in here, you have some product, some buying, and you can find some Altus Redshift Integral. It's working from version 2.5, but as you know, only for uh, Maya. And now you can use it also for any, I don't know, Cinema 4D, uh, 3ds Max, Houdini. So what's the price? According to official site, you have to pay $149 per year. I don't know. I think, I think it's big price or not big price is depend from your country but i haven't this money and of course it's very nice to use this program but i cannot purchase it for a moment i cannot maybe in future we will see so when you buy it you can use it so if you go to nvidia you can find this optics it's free you can download this optics for Windows, for Linux, for Macs, uh, Mac OS. You can use it for free without any restriction. The latest version for a moment 5.01 and go ahead. So I'm going back to my picture. Check it. Yeah, you see what was before, what was now. Not too much noise, looks like very clean. Somewhere still I have some problems here, here, here. And I try to increase again in 128. So I use like this, just a render and check what I have with denoiser. And after with same samples I use without denoiser and we will see a different. So going back and what I like to show you, as you can see, in present moment for a shift, only two denoiser. This is optics from NVIDIA and Altus from, from, from 
Ino Bright. I know Bright. I think I know Bright. More correct. But as you know, before in some of my tutorials, I use a Adobe After Effect for take out some denoise for take out some noises. And you can see also some very nice plugin. This is plugin from Revision. It's very, very powerful plugin. Name of this plugin, the noise version number three. Price for this plugin, little bit more for 95 cent, more than Altos. But, but this plugin, you can download, you can check internet, somewhere you find the torrents or somewhere you can find it. Altus, it's not possible to find, it's still not cracked. Uh, maybe in future, maybe not, I don't know. But what's the problem? As you can see here, it's very important. Altus Redshift required a Redshift license. So if you use not license at Redshift, more probably you cannot use this if you are buy. As you remember, we are going to, I don't know, somewhere I will check, we are going to official site of Redshift, and 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 where is this by now we will check in present moment price for redshift is 500 dollars or 600 for floating yes but everybody uses 500 dollars so just calculate if you like to use altus you have to pay 500 dollars plus 149 dollars is 650 dollars you have to pay to use this altus redshift denoising or if like more of you using it's not lessons redshift you use from somewhere from torrent also you cannot use this so you can use just standard redshift from any i don't know any torrent you can find this denoising for uh, after effect also somewhere in internet and you will receive more or less good result uh, more or less yes of course more or less good result without any money so, of course, with Altus, it's more better and very clean picture. Okay, look at this. Very nice picture. Uh, render taking 2 minutes, 9 seconds. So, and now I take out the noiser. No any denoising. And render again. We will see a different and we will see a different with quantity. But, I don't know, it it's, looks like very clean. Somewhere I have some noise, but... But, but it's, it's no problem. So if you make some animation anim without very hard materials, you can use it. And don't forget, yes, with, uh, with, with, with progressive render, we lose some uh, photons, subscattering, and it's working not so, not so good. Okay, we will see how time it's taking now and how many noise we will receive finally. So if it's any idea to use it or not. And then I will show you for 128 samples how to use a bucket render with Altus. I'll show you a different, it will be a really, really very clean picture, but of course with these watermarks, I don't know. If somebody know how to take out these watermarks, just send me some comment, you will very help me. Okay, close, wait. Not wait, go here. Okay, almost half coming. Still I have some noise. Here is very clean. And here still some noise. I will increase like this. Yeah. And we will check. Finally, what we will have finally. It's a very strange picture. I don't know, I put everything inside. Just to see. What is going on? No any design, no any, I don't know, no any information from this picture you didn't receive. <laughs> Everything inside. Okay, what we have? Almost finished. You see a different, eight seconds different and look how many noise here and here. You can see. So some object with reflection. Yeah. We receive it, you see. And yes, also I like to keep your attention that I don't use any samples override. I don't use any additional, for example, if I have some light, I'm not use any samples for light, nothing, everything like default. Okay, and now I'm going for last test. So I increase here, I don't know, I'll use 64 samples with 
with 16 samples like this and I use uh, Altus dual pass like this and render last time for check a final result. Now you will now you will get information if you need this denoiser or not need denoiser if your work with I don't know very very big project and every second is very important for you if you make some animation for two three five ten minutes of course this denoiser very help you for sure very help you because it give me very oh sorry 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 i have some mistake i forget to take out this yeah now we are use a bucket render okay again this i think i have to delete it's not working okay and now we'll check here again we have to wait approximately 17 seconds before start render and then i have a bucket okay wait 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 and now i open my uh, adobe after effect to show you how how working this denoiser from revision so just moment give me some few seconds okay as you can see i have too much noise really too much noise it's 64 samples but of course i have some photons and picture is more interesting yeah very good it is already ready and i think i can use this picture so i just save it to my desktop like a i can use png for 16 bits why not save on the desktop yes open i think it's it's working the noising import yeah create a new so you see i have noise so i'm going to effect i'm going to revision plugins and i have the noise just apply it and you can see some noise going out so i have some many options i use a directional yes you see some noise coming out i use a fast i use a motion on and and i think like this so as you can see some noise going out but don't forget this is additional post production anyway somewhere i have noise this noise during animation will give me too much problem i have to make a blur for example increase here up to 5 or maybe 10 maybe maybe 20 radius so some noise is going out but anyway it's not so powerful when we are going to this area it's almost done so now the noise is coming you see this is area of yeah 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 this is calculation of the noise we we can check what is working now just a moment what is working not processor yes yeah, sometimes processor working temperature going up okay very nice it is done so what i have in this area, like I told you before, uh, no any denoising because this is not a license version. I think only this idea. But look at this area. No, absolutely no any noise. It is really incredible, really nice. But three minutes, three minutes. So if I like to use a bucket render for three minutes, anyway, I didn't receive like this result. We can check. We can, for example, increase in two times or 256 just checking and here i will use a 64 and without any denoiser no just render last time and in this moment my video will complete it this is my last test i hope i showed you everything always how to use this denoiser and all time you can see you can see how it's working So this is last render. I don't know how many minutes it take, but you can see it's a very clean picture, really very clean. Somewhere still some small noise I have. But anyway, it's very, very nice. So and in present moment, my idea where I can use it. Yeah, you see, it's not necessary to wait up to end, but you can see some noise. We have some noise and this is 256 samples so i am not wait up to end i'm just close it i'm just close it so 
you see too much and as you understood anyway taking noise so my idea when and how i can use it first of all i can use it for my preparation so i use a 32 pass maybe 16 passes only like this i use uh, optics because this is free and easy to use and only for prepare prepare my scene only for preparation so i have like this small window for example during prepare some tutorials or some job or something just make a play not bucket render just make a play and look at this look at this it will be now it's very clean just moment preparation coming update shading and bam 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 and some denoiser it's working so i'm take out camera I can go like this. You see, it's very coming very fast and very clean. Like this, for example, I show you coming very fast and now some denoiser start work. It's already denoising. Very clean, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed with my tutorial. Uh, if yes, give me some comments, put like, share to your friends. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.